The one and only Xalophony here, using the Dark Magicians against Mario and his Dark Magician girls. Mario. The Apprentice will suppress the- will surpass the Masters. Just watch. Well, either way works, but it's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. It's not. I mean... If you think about it, you have every one of the Dark Magician's Apprentices against him right now. Yeah, there's a reason he went through so many Apprentices. Okay, finally, we got through that. Yeah, that was a wild, wasn't it? You know what? Since you're the apprentice, I'll let you pick anyway. You want to go first or second? Uh, I guess second would work best. All right. Yeah, I really don't care too much with this deck. I usually choose to go first anyway, so. Ew, but we don't have a good Dark Magician hand. Now, I'm just going to spoil it right now. There was a... We also recorded this video last night, but someone forgot to set the audio back up after invaders came into their room messing with machinery and trying to take down their entire internet life that was more complicated the, the recording i don't have audio so yeah it was just me talking and just not uh, any of him yeah and you know what let me know in the comments if you want to see that like i had some really sick dark magician hands the almost perfect one well i guess it's better using that now than later um but yeah, if you want to see a video with just Mario's voice and me just the whole time, you got the same alarm as me. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah, I forgot to turn off. Leave a like early. if you also use that alarm. <laughs> I thought I shut off my alarm. Oh gosh, it's great. I was my downstairs was... making breakfast. That was screaming from upstairs. I was like, Ah, come on! I'll be up there in a second. Except that was hours ago. Was I'm crazy? All right. So we got a chocolate magician girl out here. Not too bad. Discarding and drawing. Yep, chocolate magician girl. One of your latest apprentices that you kicked out for some reason. Yeah, she's lame. No, she's actually sick. Like, if I were to run a magician girl in this deck, it would be that one. Just because having her on the field just means, all right, can't attack me yet. Jeez, but the luck, where's it at? Oh yeah, you could have attacked me. Hmm. All right, I'm. I'm I mean, used it's to... yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's used to there being some sort of defense out there. Really, no magic. I mean, I really don't want to grab a dark magic veil here. What is the play? I don't see the play. Huh. I guess I'm gonna grab dark magic veil for later, probably. Cause I don't really. Yeah. I end my turn. Uh, actually, there would have been a play. Wouldn't have been a great play, but there would have been a play. But I already hit end turn, so. Ah! <laughs> no play anymore. Because that's not a quick play. It's alright. I kind of put that down just hoping that it would burn through all the uh, spell destruction. So when I actually draw the cards I need, I can have them. But I'm not drawing them. So. Oh, man. Oh, man. So we gotta flip out another card, not bad. Oh geez, you kept drawing the Kiwis. Luckily, you have the chocolate to make use of them regardless. Mm-hmm. I think that's all three, actually. That I've had in the grave. Yeah, I have three, all three Kiwis in the grave. <laughs> you do, wow. Hey, I mean, they were, at least you had, yeah. <laughs> Without chocolate, that would have been an awful hand. Yeah. All right, so yeah. Um, I would say that I'm just gonna let that happen, but I, I don't have a choice at the moment. <laughs> so, just a little tap tap attack. It's okay, we'll come back. It's gonna be great. Really, I mean, I need one of so many cards in this deck. It's hard to break with Dark Mag Another pot of duality. The chances of this not getting me- okay, there's at least one Dark Magician summoning card. Um, do I want that or do I want the search? Ooh. I don't know, do I have two spells in my grave? Yeah, I definitely do with the other pot of duality in there as well. Do I go for the Eternal Soul? I don't have a lot of Dark Magicians in play yet, so actually, I think we're not going to. Well, Eternal Soul would be, yeah, we're gonna do it just because it's mad safe. You already used two spell destruction cards. There's no safer time than now for that. All right, I'll just go with that. I could have uh, used it to search out other cards, um, and I would have if I still had my, uh, what was it, the Dark Magic Veil. 
but mm -hmm. yeah, because then I would have gotten a circle and been able to use that. So, well, let's see what happens if there's another mystical space typhoon on the field. I think you win. <laughs> Um, actually, no, you don't have the attack points yet. Jeez, a little chipping away. So I could be patient. I don't think I need to be, though. I don't think there's any good reason for me to be. Because it's so unlikely you have more spell destruction. Yes, you might have gone and added some spell destruction just because, well, it's important against Dark Magician deck. But still, even then. I haven't. I haven't had time. I've been busy since the last time we did this. Yeah. Either way, you drew the stuff early. I'm just surprised you uh, used it on face downs. Let's see. Activate effect. Special summon a dark magician. Yeah, I kind of have to. Fortunately, this will also proc the effect of Magician of Dark Illusion from my hand, I believe. Yeah. And it's unaffected by card effects, so. Yep. And this guy's name becomes Dark Magician when he's on the field, so come on out, buddy. There we go, and I think I know the play I'm going to go for next turn. It's just, I actually know I have to go for it up on Illusion Magician, because I just have to start banishing your monsters, because I can't attack into them. Not confidently, at least. I guess I could attack into Apple Magician Girl, but... Hmm. I... Hmm. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. Oh, he switches it, these two into something else. Castell, so he can destroy one card on the field, right? Yep, beautiful. No, I return it. To, oh. I return it to the into the deck. Oh, that's good too. Should still do the same effect, right? Yeah, when it leaves the field. Yeah, very nice. Uh oh. Yeah. Wait, you it, didn't. Yeah, I had a feeling that it was only when it's destroyed. But, it says when it leaves the field. <laughs> hmm. I guess, yeah, that feels like a really rare situation, so I don't know. I'll have to look at the card again soon. It's alright, I'm drawing it right now. Oh, not quite. Ooh, this will be fun. Alright, I'm going to set this card down, and I'm going to hit a lore of darkness. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> yeah, I got a feeling that was going to happen. It's not entirely un unlikely. Um, so what can I do here? I don't have any Dark Magician recovery power, um, but I can get the last one out of my deck if I go into Ebon Illusion Magician, which I kind of gotta. But if there's a Solemn on the field, I might just lose, so do I go for that? Because I can probably take the field without doing that. Hmm. It's tricky, because I have I have Tamias. So, can that bring us someone who's going to make the difference here? Let's see, your opponent cannot target spells I control. Yeah, that would have been good last turn, but we didn't exactly get there in time. So, Dark Paladin would be good, potentially. But then you could just counter that as well. Then again, then I'd only be using one material. Hmm, it's interesting, it's tricky. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna hope you don't have anything and go for that one illusion. Because, I mean, Solemn's kind of likely when you have two face-down cards that aren't spell destruction, but, you know, gotta take the risk. Equally as bad. Alright, I will go for my Monster Reborn. Get the Dark Magician out here. And, yeah. I'm running out of moves here. Let's activate the Eye of Tamias. And... I really neither of them are gonna be a big deal. So I guess I'll prefer to have the Dark Paladin upcoming. Yeah, let's do that. Just right. having more power. Yeah. And let's drop Castell, I guess. Just because I'm not never excited about attacking into Oh, come on. Alright. Good time for it. No, I'm usually not going to pass 2,900 attack points. Man, those decks full of tricks. I love it. <laughs> You're just stringing along the Dark Magician. I mean, I'm out of cards right now, so. Obviously, Dark Paladin has, you know, some attack points to get over right now, but that's about it. Castell's hmm. already used up. It's like, actually, yeah, yeah if I could flip on face. 
Yeah, if I had a one material, I could flip them face down and potentially set something up. Yeah, but I mean, stopping some of the other stuff is completely important. So you've been making the right calls so far, I believe. Um, okay, and I'm just double checking the attack, the life points. And if you did attack first round, still wouldn't have changed anything at this moment. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it would have felt real bad. All right, no Apple Magician Girl is going to go down anyway, so you switch it. Not a bad call. I will set a card, and at this moment, I wish I brought out the uh, the other card I can, the Dark Magician Dragon Knight, but so be it. Let's, does that uh, one inflict piercing? Uh, oh yeah, it does. I forgot about that part of it. It's alright. Um, more so for its spell protection, because I just drew another Eternal Soul. Thank you for destroying Apple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Because I can, when she's destroyed, I can add up to three... Yep. Different uh, magician girls to my hand. It was inevitable. I guess I could have waited till I had a better follow-up play, but had to do it eventually, right? Doesn't look like I'm getting any banishing plays so far, at least not for a few turns. So, we'll see what happens. Obviously, there's plays that can go down. Um, definitely um, trying to keep. It was actually a good card. Nice. Ooh, I that is a good this. One. She's always a good first turn draw, but at this moment, you know, yeah, right now it's actually kinda... good too. Yeah, you do have some other stuff, but still. Not bad. Yeah, I definitely made a point of leaving Castell alive just to fill the link zone, just so trickery couldn't happen too easily. Um, obviously, but we don't have to. thing. Yeah, so it really just depends on what you're using. So, because I don't exactly know what you're going to bring out to do this. I suppose, um, like a straight Dark Magician Girl wouldn't be a bad shout right now. So, because I, I definitely got some Dark Magicians in Grave. Ah, uh, but one's banished, actually, so it would only be two of them in Grave. Alright, mm -hmm. I will flip up my Eternal Soul now and activate the effect to summon the Dark Magician from the Grave. So, actually, that wouldn't have been that great of a move. Ignore everything I say always, Mario. That's the key. Yeah. You do <laughs> have the advantage in attack power right now. Yeah, which is pretty huge. Aw. Darn it, I just drew my dark magic attack so my eternal soul can't do anything. Uh, hmm. I could apprentice witchling and set myself up for... And then still have a dark magician. Which is good. Yeah. I'm just glad you didn't draw a mag dark magical circle. Yeah, no banishing is happening right now. Uh, huh. I guess I'll just hold on to that in my hand so I can actually use Dark Paladin's effect and keep Dark Paladin on the field. Now, what happens when I kill this thing? Nothing, right? Uh, he doesn't have any graveyard effects, no. Yeah, I didn't think so. So let's just go for the biggest attack we got there. But they, all the Magician Girls have effects when you attack yeah. them, though. Still cut it in half, right? Oh, this one. Switches so battle position. Mode. Okay. Okay. That's and I can change. Fine. And I could special summon. Oh, so it does have an effect when it's done. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, let's see. I want to special summon the Apple Magician Girl. Very good. And let's see if this card's destroyed by a battle or card effect. Yeah, you're trying to set yourself up. Um, yeah, let's just get this Barry Magician Girl out of here. And then what do I do next? Do I go for the Apple Magician Girl and leave you without something on the field? Ooh, that's tricky. Ooh, he's thinking about... No, you don't even have a Kiwi in your hand. But you used them all, right? <laughs> I know that's one of the hand trap ones. So, um, do I go for Castell here? Yeah, I guess I do. Could kill Apple Magician Girl, but... That'll help set you up pretty good. Oh, wait, no, you already used that effect, so you probably do have um, some Kiwis in hand, don't you? Who did yeah, you, uh, you got one in who hand. did you attack? Castell. Yeah. Yep. I'm just... Yeah, I don't exactly want to set your hand up even more, because if you get, like, a bunch of Kiwis in your hand, I could be in trouble, you know? Um, but... I suppose... Ooh... Ah, oh well. Should I go for this? 
Hmm. I don't want to lose my Dark Paladin, so no, I'm not gonna. So I was thinking about using Dark Paladin and bring out the Apprentice Witchling, because that'll let me just special some of my Dark Magician right back anyway. But, oh man, another berry. I guess, yeah, you, you've been searching everything you want, so. Mm -hmm. Oh man, if I don't get that banishing power soon. That's really the edge I have over this deck, but... Heesh. Alright, so... Yeah, the only thing I can... normal summon left. Yeah, the only thing I can summon right now is the Akatosh, but... Not the best play right now. It's Akashic? Akatosh is a god of Skyrim? Duh! <laughs> <laughs> Nerd! <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, let's see. Akashic. Uh, yeah, there's nothing you can really do with Akashic. All right, there's that dark magic circle, which I can feasibly use, but that would still mean getting rid of Dark Paladin. But with what's on the field right now, I think it's still worth. Um, let's see what I get with Dark Magical Circle. Maybe I'll get something to help me set myself up a little better. Um, oh, I think I. I'm getting something. Uh, nope, that's not that good. Okay. And then this Yeah, I'm not really playing any spells and trap cards for you in the gate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, earlier, sure, but not anymore. So, I don't think this these plays will shuffle my deck at all. So, let's actually do it. Get out of here, Dark Paladin. Nice, much weaker monster. Mostly just so I can use Eternal Soul to get the uh, Dark Magician back out. And banish one of my monsters. Yep. That way I'll be able to freely at least get something out of here. Huh. Which window? I don't know. There's really no good answer. I'll just get the apple out of here for now. Because I know I don't want to attack into that. And... Yeah, I guess I might attack into a berry, so let's do it. Because then you'll summon something else out, and then I can make the decision there. If I want to attack it or not. And it probably won't be any worse off than another Apple Magician Girl. Which would mean just, you know, didn't go anywhere. Anyway, mm -hmm. so. You can still attack with your Dark Magician. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, I might as well go out with power then. Oh, okay. Did you not have another Apple? Uh, no. Ah, okay. There's only two in his deck. Makes sense. Yeah, it's not necessarily one that you would run a lot of. It's just this is one of the situations where it's a better wall than actual defense points or Chaco Magicians, but. Oh, so you get to protect that. Nice. Um, <laughs> we can't attack the Dark Magician Girl this turn, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> um, let's see. And that Kiwi's just until the end of the turn, right? Yeah. Wait, until the end of this turn, yes. Okay, so we'll attack the Berry Magician Girl with Dark Magician. Yeah, I was trying to protect her. Yeah. Well, at least you can kill the Apprentice Witchling next turn, I think. I don't see anything that can stop it. Uh, I feasibly can't, because I know what you're going to do. You're going to, uh... Oh, wait, no. Yeah. I thought you had another Dark Magician. No, I've been... Not the luckiest as duel. Like, I was thinking about it, thinking about attacking into the Dark Magician Girl just so I could banish it and then by resummoning my Dark Magician next turn, but nah. I'm a little short on them life points, you see. Um, I guess I would have been losing a thousand, which would have put me under the threshold of if you attack the first round. And I don't want to hear those ifs in the comments. So, I'm staying away from the if and maybe threshold, you know? Alright. I wish I put this card You know what's ironic? Case. If you had a second Dark Magician too, I'd be able to match your Dark Magician in power. Yeah, true. Well, until I summon him, because it's just in the graveyard, right? Yeah. That's a thing you would think. That a Dark Magician girl would be sick against Dark Magicians, but the fact that they, you know... Naturally have 500 more attack points. Yeah, and they come back from the graveyard is what makes them good. Alright, there goes the Apprentice Witchling. Nothing I can do to protect that. Still in the threshold. 
<laughs> um, oh, so I can uh, bring a selected card to add to my hand. Let's grab the Dark Paladin. Nope. That was something that confuses me, actually, right now. What? Why isn't Dark Magician Girl gaining attack points for there is no the Dark Magician, Magician of Black Chaos in my grave? Um, Dark Magician of Chaos. Um, yeah, that is interesting. Dark Magician. Oh, because it's a Dark Magician of Chaos, not a Magician of Black Chaos. That's right. Oh, that's a different one. Yeah, right. it's the Ritual Monster, That I think. I think. Oh, okay. Yep. And then, of course, my only Dark Magician's on the field right now, so... And if you don't kill it, I can't banish. Oh man, I need to get some stuff here. Okay, yeah, this is what I was needing to do. So I'm going to... Huh. How shall I do this? I guess I am going to... Ooh, it's still gonna be rough. We're gonna special summon by getting rid of my dark magic attack. The Apprentice Illusion Magician so I can get another Magician into play, finally! Oh, so that's the replacement. Yeah, man. Same attack, but better effect. Easy choice. Alright, so now I could actually bring out another one, but since I got that card, I'm not gonna. Um, I guess I could attack into Dark Magician. Uh, you totally have a Kiwi in your hand, don't you? No, let's see. I have all kiwi. three in the grave. Two Kiwis, yes, they are all three in the grave. That was what I was checking. All right, let's see. Yeah, definitely if I still had a Witchling, I might put a second Witchling in this deck, honestly. And we'll just attack Dark Magician Girl. Uh, there's nothing I can really do with Eternal Soul that I want to do right now. Oh, but we got that Call of the Haunted to bring the Dark Magician of Chaos back out, I'm assuming. Um, it seems like the most viable option. Yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing. All right. Cool. Do I want to continue the battle? Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll still go for the Dark Magician Girl. Sounds like a plan. Because I think I know how this is going to go, and I could have actually destroyed the Dark Magician of Chaos, but nah. I will simply defend oh, myself by, just, by the power of banishing. By yeah, by using Illusion Magician's effect on Dark Magician. As I attack into it. Let me use this effect to get back my twin twisters. Oh, yeah. Should have really stopped that. I wonder if this can save me. Oh, I should not have used this. Because I could have actually come back a whole lot easier. Darn it. Get destroyed in time. Uh, I'll banish the Dark Magician of Chaos. Too late. It's too late for me. Darn it, it's your turn. Hey, buddy! Uh, is it really worth discarding a card to use that Twin Twisters anyway? Come on. <laughs> you think you can talk me out of it? Oh, no, I can't. I knew I couldn't. I'm just doing it for the lols. I knew you would have went for that. Darn it, I shouldn't have played that card. Oh, well. Absolutely should not have played that other Magician. That was dumb. That was really dumb. At least I got a wall. Yeah. And I got your power monster out of here for now. I have more than one in the deck, though. Yep. And now there's actually two Dark Magicians in the grave, so get that Dark Magician girl back. Yeah, you're already on it. And next turn, mm -hmm. we can get that out. You'll be looking good. I'm just glad Dark Magician Chaos allows me to get back a spell card. Yeah, I should have stopped him right then and there. I don't, I don't know why I wasn't thinking about his effect. Are you also tired in the morning? No, I'm a morning person. Shut up. <laughs> nah, I just, I just never use Dark Magician to cast, so it's not really an effect I think about. Alright, let's see if we can field ourselves a really good card here. Uh, mm, I don't... Actually, no, I just need to... I have to get my Dark Magician. Alright, and... Ooh, actually, that'll let me pull this guy. Okay, so I still got plays. Whoo! Welcome. Alright, and we'll use our normal summon happily now to bring out Magician of Prophecy. Just getting that draw power, you know what it is. So I can definitely have an illusion. Yeah, but what's the good target, though? Yeah, it's still the case of I can't take everything out at once. Okay, Since I got rid one. of some of your... Exactly. 
Um, and I think it's two magicians in the graveyard right now, so I have an illusion. Can't even bring out- Oh no, is it just one magician in grave? Oh jeez, I have- Oh, because I banished one. Accidentally. Yeah, so there's really nothing I can do with the Ebon Illusion Magician. Can't even pop his effect to get the Dark Magician out of him. Do we go for a Borload play? Or do you- are you gonna be able to have four monsters in the field? Absolutely. Um, but... I think instead of that, I will go for... Let's do a big eye play, keep the spellcaster game going. Yeah, but who do you take? E either one of them can can summon a monster out. Yeah, I know. I'm not gonna worry about it all at the same time. I'm gonna get one now, and I'm gonna be patient, honestly. And I'll set another card. Because I feel like I got time. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna battle. Because I got another effect on this. Then again, another card in your hand is probably going to have a very similar effect, but... It's fine. Hmm. That's not good. Well, that means you can't spe- Well, you don't really special summon a ton anyway. Um, but Call the Haunted isn't as good now. Well, actually, if it gets a, a Dark Magician Girl back, that's still pretty good. Actually, you could just summon Dark Magician Girl here. Mm-hmm. But would that be the play, though, right now, is the question. Yeah. Um, you would match Big Eye, I think. I got two Magicians in Grave, right? Uh, no, because I have one in Grave. And, you know, I left the Dark Magician on my Big Eye on purpose. Yep. <laughs> I did. And I, that, I thought that was a mistake when I did it, because I usually always want to put my Dark Magicians in the Grave, because I can get them back easier, but that was actually the better play. Yeah. I'm just wondering if uh, one of them is a Mirror Force or something. Actually, you don't run Mirror Force in this deck, I don't think. Probably not. Yeah. And I, mean, I, I know, know you run more. Deck. I know I returned the Eternal Soul. One of them back. Yeah, so there's definitely still more to be had. I know one's destroyed. Uh, yeah, one's in the graveyard and that's it. So there's still two in either deck or field. Um, so. Yeah. yeah, so I guess the best option is to just send a berry to the grave special normal summon the dark magician girl mm -hmm. but then what do you do let's see so as i was saying you don't have the attack points with my other magician being on big eye not only that i you can target one spellcaster monster in your graveyard except chocolate and special summon it and change it to it so i can't even attack my own monster yeah, true. I mean, and its other effect, too. The yeah, that's the only thing about... It. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to have to end. Yeah, didn't think there was any play to be had there, but I'll pop that Eternal Soul. As we were um, suggesting, activate the effect. Yes, I would have loved to get a uh, Dark Magic attack right now with that back row, but we'll just get the Dark Magician instead. Uh, oh, Magician's Rod! That would have been nice any other time in a duel. Uh, let's yeah, I'm sure you didn't draw into it earlier. Yeah, no. like three of them. You have like two copies, right? Three. three of them. It's one of the best cards in the deck because it searches any Dark Magician card and is a spellcaster on the field to be fodder. So, mm -hmm. uh, so I, I guess I want to get a Dark Magic Circle back out here because there's no more Dark Magicians, so navigation's kind of dead. Uh, I guess I can thin the deck out by using Inheritance to make it happen. This is the longest Dark Magician deck I've ever- Duel I've ever had. It's great. <laughs> um, and what would be the best play? I could either draw power or just search something. Oh, wait, no. For, first of all, I'm banishing two cards, of course. And then I have to decide. Um, okay, so yeah, there's much less options here. Definitely go for the Dark Magic Circle. So when I do start recycling the Magicians again, because I think I can do one this turn. Yeah, because I'll use Big Eye's effect, and it'll probably be game, but we'll see. Confirm three cards. Uh, I have a Dark Magician card in there. Oh, yeah, Illusion Magic that I can't physically use because all the Magicians are out. Oh, man, Dark Magicians definitely have their disadvantages when they get to this point of the duel. Um, let's see. Ooh, I still have this Spellbook of Knowledge that's been sitting on the field. Ew. Watch coming out. 
because I still haven't used Big Eye's effect yet, so I can take something. <laughs> Activate wall mode. Or actually, you're probably trying to pop its effect because you can probably use that while it's on the field. And let's see, Spellbook of Knowledge. The Oh, darn it. I did that wrong. I should have used Big Eye, Spellbook of Knowledge, and then got the Big Eye out of there, then used the Link Zone. It's cool. Um, let's see, I could go for this. Absolutely, let's do it. Get rid of Illusion Magic that, as I said, I can't physically use. Get you out here. Not that the second effect is going to come in to play at all. And, ooh, I cannot activate the effect of Big Eye. Uh, why is that again? That's why I chose Kiwi. Oh, she stops that. Okay. She prevents you from targeting or and being a f and all my magician girl monsters cannot be affected by card effects. Okay, nice. So I guess we'll just do the whole attacking thing then, because this one doesn't have any effect. Like, ooh, that mirror force. The lonely little dark magician out here. You are fighting it, man. <laughs> Is there any other choice but to fight it? I guess, yeah. Go to point. Banish! Get her out of here. Don't come back. Okay. We we have to be there now. We have to be doing okay now. Come on. Now allow me to draw on my last mystical space typhoon. Yeah, that would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Ebon Illusion, I can't do anything with. Um, I could go into this, but I feel like just having the Eternal Soul Dark Magicians out is the safest thing. As dangerous as Eternal Soul is, I feel like it might be my safest thing to do right now. <sighs> I had a feeling I was going to draw you. Finally. <laughs> I've had a feeling I was going to draw another Dark Magician of Chaos before oh. my other cards. Oh, you're on two of them. Yikes. I mean, against this deck, it's I, actually pretty sick, obviously, but right now... But I can't summon it. Yeah. Oh, uh, but you lasted 20 turns against these Dark Magicians. Jeez. Yeah, I'll just summon Lemon out. Mm -hmm. Um, I think because of that, I can't beat you this turn. Um, let's see. Ooh, actually, I could Dark Magic Veil, but nope, that'll put me below that threshold I keep talking about. <laughs> um... Yeah, I can't Witchling here. I could get like a hundred more attack points, but blah. Um, let's try this. I never use this play because I still have potential to summon another Dark Magician, so there's really nothing bad to happen. I'm kind of just trying to facilitate the use of another Eternal Soul dra Dark Magic Circle combo. Because I've considered taking oh, a card sack. out of the deck a lot of times. Because it's kind of just another thing. Targeting and destroy one card on the field by tributing self. Yeah, that's why it's in here. In case I need to do something with targeting. It's just I usually don't need to do that kind of thing. But now we can get some nice juicy tokens. And what do we want to go into? Uh, we'll put those two into a proxy dragon. But that's kind of all I can do with that. So that was bad. Okay, so I think that would work yeah, if I had some think, of my other cards, but... I was going to say, shouldn't you attack with your... I mean, should you activate your Phantom Beast's effect first? I, I did pop an effect. Can I do both effects with them? Yeah, I think you could. Oh. That's rare. Alright, well, let's banish you. Still doesn't... Not really... Yeah, by you just couldn't... Anymore. You just weren't allowed to attack if you did that. Okay. So... Yeah, so I might as well have done that. You're right. Um, let's see. I could do this and win right now. Yeah, since the duel's been going on a while, I would. Obviously, I could just wait till next turn, but let's just go ahead. That's the rash now. hole. Stop. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know I would have won anyway. Or am winning anyway. No, you wouldn't have been able to summon it. You wouldn't have been able to summon it. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't make these dumb rules. Well, I do make these dumb rules for myself. All right, jeez, that took a while. Well, want to go for a now, second one? one of, or is this I one think of those, this is one of those one-off ones. Yeah, twenty-one turns. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed the Dark Magician's weakest showing in a while, I must say, against Dark Magician girls who were holding up. Jeez. Then uh, let Even us when know. when you started getting up your stuff, I had the counters ready. Yeah, just counter, counter, counter. It was pretty good. You had all the right cards at the right time. 
So yeah, let us know any other cool themes you want to see in the comments down below. Leave a like on the video, and we'll see you next time.